a set of 1,300 exam scores is normally distributed with a mean of 78 and a standard deviation of 6. Use the empirical rule to answer the questions. Let's begin by labeling the normal distribution shown below, where because the mean is 78, the mean is at the center of the distribution, which is here, and then because the standard deviation is 6, 78 plus 6 is equal to 84. 84 is one standard deviation above the mean. 84 plus 6 is 90. 90 is two standard deviations above the mean. And 90 plus 6 is 96. 96 is three standard deviations above the mean. And now to the left of the mean, 78 minus 6 is 72. 72 is one standard deviation below the mean. 72 minus 6 is 66, which is two standard deviations below the mean. And 66 minus 6 is 60. 60 is three standard deviations below the mean. The first question is how many students scored higher than 78? Well notice 78 is the median, and therefore 50% of the students scored higher than 78. and 50% scored lower than 78. So the number of students that scored higher than 78 is 50% of 1,300 students. To find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. 50% as a decimal is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 1,300 is equal to 650, giving us 650 students. Next, how many students scored between 72 and 84? We'll notice 72 and 84 are both one standard deviation from the mean, and we know from the empirical rule, approximately 68% of the data falls plus or minus one standard deviations from the mean. So 68% of the students scored between 72 and 84 and therefore the number of students scoring between the 72 and 84 is 68% of 1,300, which is equal to 0 0.68 times 1,300, which is 884 students. Next, how many students scored between 66 and 90? Notice 66 and 90 are two standard deviations from the mean. The empirical rule tells us approximately 95% of the data falls plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean, and therefore 95% of the students scored between 66 and 90. So we need to find 95% of 1,300, which is equal to 0 0.95 times 1,300, which is 1,235 students. Next, how many students score between 78 and 84? Well, 78 is the mean. 84 is one standard deviation above the mean. And due to the symmetry of the bell curve, 34% of the data falls between the mean and one standard deviation above the mean, and 34% also falls between the mean and one standard deviation below the mean, which means 34% of the students scored between 78 and 84. So we need to find 34% of 1,300, which is equal to 0 0.34 times 1,300, which will be half of 884 students, or 442 students. But again, let's go ahead and check it. And we do get 442 students. Next, how many students scored lower than 72 Notice the score of 72 is one standard deviation below the mean. We're looking for the percent of students that scored below 72. Well, we know 78 is the median, and therefore 50% of the students scored less than 78. And we also know, and we also know the percent between the mean and one standard deviation below the mean, this interval here, is 34%. And therefore, the percent below 72 must be equal to 50%, the percent below the mean, minus the percent between 72 and 78, which gives us minus 34%, which is equal to 16%.
We need to be careful on this one because we cannot just rely on the empirical rule and add 2.35% and 13.5% because remember, the empirical rule only accounts for 99.7% of the data. So the number of students that scored lower than 72 is 16% of 1,300, which is 0 0.16 times 1,300, which is 208 students. The last question, we're asked to determine how many students scored below 84. Notice 84 is one standard deviation above the mean, so we're trying to find the percent that scored less than 84. Well, we know 78 is the median, or mean, which means 50% of the students scored less than 78. We also know the percent of students that scored between the mean and one standard deviation above the mean, or between 78 and 84, is 34%. And therefore, the percent of students that scored less than 84 is 50% plus 34% or 84%. So we need to find 84% of 1,300 students. Which is 1,092 students. I hope you found this helpful.